Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to control your ASP32 over the internet. So, as this example shows, I will be sending some messages from Unity and read the reply back from ASP32. To get the plugin used, you can go to the developer page and click on download the plugin to download the plugin for free. I will start by creating a new scene. Create a new controller. So I start by including the namespace. First, we start by create a client session. Here we have to provide an API key, an application key, and the device ID. To get this information, we go to automationserver.ddns.net We sign in as a developer and we create our new application As shown here, I created my application named my application and I get an application token that is automatically generated This value is specific for developers and has to be placed here For the API token, I sign in as a user and I get the token from here Registering the user can be done also via API and this information is shared on the website And for the device key, I get it from here I create the device's key that is the uh, device identifier and I use this five characters as the device key now I need to subscribe to the event of this session so for the messages there are four types of the message so the message type can be either data message that is representing a payload sent an error message that is representing an error return from the server an echo message this is a message that will be sent back to the sender broadcast message this is the message that will be sent to all the devices or all the users so once once we receive the message we can print its source so if the message received is a data message it will be of type generic data message we can cast the message received as generic data message and print the payload the data returned here is of type byte array so we can convert it to string using and if the message received is an error message for example then here we can print the error message so this is simply how to receive a message from ESP32 now we need to connect for sure to be able to initialize the session after that I will put the button that will be used when we click the button we send the message to the ESP32 so I will create a method called send message this function will create a message using a message builder in the message builder we need to set the message set the destination that you are going to send to and the device key is called DSP32 and we are going to build the message after that we call session dot send message and this is simply how to send the message to the ESP32 so in the ungui I'm going to put the button here and we are going to send a hello to the ESP32 this button once clicked will call the send message function now regarding the ESP code 
We start by defining the Wi-Fi SSID and password we need to connect to. After that, we create a device session where we give as argument the Wi-Fi client, the API token, the app token, and the device key of the ESP32 that we already created on the website. We start by connecting to the Wi-Fi, and after that, we subscribe to the session's method on message received defined below and we connect the session in the loop function we have to call session.update to check for any received message here it's an example of how to send a message from the esp32 to the to the unity application so we create a message with the type data and this is the destination that we are going to send to the message to. This is the payload that we are going to send with its length. And we call session.sendMessage. Once we receive a message, we receive a message object. And we can check the type of the message, if it's an error, if it's a data or an echo message, or if it's a broadcast. To get the payload of the message, we can get the length of the message with get data length and get data will return a character pointer to the data received and then we can print the data. This code is also provided and can be downloaded from the website. Now we are going to test the scene. So we start and we send the message to the ESP32 and we got a hello back from the ESP32. Thank you for watching the video.